my friend Juan, also known as Felideus, has asked me how we, we could use uh, Shadowbox to, to prepare a base for modeling. So I'm going to explain it in this tutorial by request. The first thing you've got to do is to create a, any object. In this case, we'll, we'll create a sphere and then enter into edit mode. In this case, we have got to turn make polymers 3D on so that we can edit the sphere. And within the, the sub tool menu, you'll find one button that says shadow box. If you press it, you'll see that your object will be turned into some kind of projection in, in the three axes in which the projections can be seen on each side of the, of the cube. The way you edit these projections is by by masking each side of the of the cube. If you if you want to edit uh, create your own mask, the first thing you have to do is to clear the mask on on each of the, the cube's walls. So let's start by let's turn symmetry on and let's start masking something. You see as when we draw on the on one of the walls instantly some ge geometry is generated. Let's turn transparency on so that we can see through the newly created geometry. Now let's create a side view. Okay, so you see that now we have a, 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 a sort of a side of the head and the front of the head. And now let's let's draw at the pl a plan too. And you see, in, instantly we have sort of the humanoid humanoid head. You can add more detail, for example, like the ears. As the ears are only visible in, the, in this front panel, uh, it is not turned into geometry. You, you have to draw it also on the other projections. You see that there are some guidelines that appear here, which, which will help you with the drawing. Now let's place the ears like that. And you see, we have, we have some ears here. Now we can continue the drawing, and for instance, adding a sort of a neck and, a, and an upper body. We have to draw it. Oops. To mask it here too. As you see, now we have some a very simple torso. If you disable the, the shadow box button, you'll instantly get a base of geometry that you can see is all made by quads, but which has some kind of strange geometry where, the, where it changes direction. It's not, it's a nice surface for sculpting, but of course you cannot use it later on for a production environment. It's, it's great for a concept sketch, but uh, that's, that's all it's good for. Okay. Now that we have this base, we can start using other, other tools like, like the clay builder to start editing, create more, more features. so on and so on until you get uh, the character you want. I'm not going to continue the character, I'll leave it as beautiful as it is. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed Juan, I hope you have understood the way that Shadowbox works.